Some of the changes in season six have been absolutely controversial to the Apex community. Some of us like it, some of us hate us. But the fact is, there is a few changes that seem to be oversights when it comes to the season. And namely, what they didn't take into account for certain legends. But first, if you enjoy this channel, how about taking the time to like the video? And if you're new, smash down that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. And don't forget, guys, for season six, we're giving away 11,500 Apex coins. And if you want to win, all you got to do is head over to pwnhub.live or check the link in the description where you will find multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries. But today, I wanted to take a look at the glaring oversight that has happened when we look at the actual changes to the shields and health. Now, overall, obviously, we still have 100 health, but we don't have... 200 total health with shields on at the maximum until you get a red bar shield which is a substantial change in the game which means the only way to get that is through via evo and you can't find a purple etc now the unforeseen consequences that we actually saw that everybody can take into their own account is the time to kill and how we're dying much faster in the arena but i think people forgot about octane and the severe lack of power that he had prior to the season even happening and how he even trades his health to use one of his abilities now at this point i would say that the health change well health trade is absolutely the most abominable thing that they could do to the character and it needs to be removed by simply removing that once again the character would be one of the better options to play not the best but he would be at least viable in the current game as it stands so for me with the time to kill that we have even tapping that tactical is absolutely useless and you do not move fast enough and on top of that the launch pad by the time you're mid launch you can just be killed so for me there needs to be some changes very soon to the way that octane works before any other legend because in fact bangalore is more effective in this new type of game mode even with her old abilities because now her ultimate is even that much more dangerous so we don't need to see necessarily in a, a big huge change to bangalore this season but we do need to see a massive rework to how octane currently works I would say that the jump pad with a double jump was a great idea. I still think it's lackluster. The double jump is great to get another like 10 feet out of the jump, but it should probably give you another 30, 40 feet out of the jump, not another 10 feet. So I do think there is a ways to go currently with the power level of the character when it comes to Octane and looking at how far they've gone with Bloodhound in particular, making Bloodhound probably one of if not the best and most necessitated legends in season six now you might have your own opinion on that and think that maybe you don't really need a bloodhound but really almost every game has a bloodhound in it well almost every team in every game has a bloodhound in it and this goes for duos and trios so i would say right now that bloodhound is one of the most winning characters and most played characters as well as the ultimate being an absolute godsend. And you literally activate wall hack mode and god mode. So with that type of change and how there's just all this extra power available for Bloodhound, I do believe that there is most likely power for Octane to acquire sometime soon. So I hope that you actually see this added to the character very soon in the season, especially with all the updates that are coming in the very near future. Now, we did see an injection of some community ideas with Octane getting the double jump from the launch pad as well as the other legends in that it was called, I think, the trick pad or something like that that somebody had actually renamed the ability to. And there's been other different concepts out there as like this one with Swift Mend and Swift End, as well as making it so that Octane throws grenades and, you know, reloads, basically does everything faster when he's under the uh, uh, you know effects of stim which would make more sense than just running fast and taking a lot of damage now i would love to hear what the community has to say about this like what do you guys think would be a really good change for octane in particular i think that 
we could see a lot of different things but personally i think the health re you know requirement is so out of the league of what even needed to be there in the first place that it would be almost inevitably a hindrance like no matter what like in every way no matter what i see in my mind that needs to be removed and we need to get a better overall ability set from octane and i think it's possible that we could actually get a better overall ability set from octane assuming that the developers start thinking about everything in general because this octane is at such a disadvantage from using as a tactical in the current game modes and game setup that it's almost an embarrassing situation to, to think that they released it without thinking about that and i still think that the shield situation should be two three four and five or just two three four and you know it shouldn't be one two three four and no more than with the five and you know basically the shield should still be as they were on the map they should just evolve when you do damage that would have been the simplest fix and it would have worked out great in my opinion but you know i i'm not always right and i sometimes you know i'm completely wrong but i think in this regard that it would make the game that much better just like octane not having to use his actual abilities you know to cost health you know not using your health pool as a resource if you will so like imagine if using the crafting machine cost your health would you use the crafting machine probably not you would try to avoid using that at all times so drop a comment down below and let me know what you think would make a great addition or buff for octane or if you have an entire rework idea Go ahead and let me know in the comment section what you think would be a great rework because honestly there are very few legends in this current season that are not viable and octane is definitely at the bottom rung of terrible terrible legends to play at the current time and when you factor in how fast you die even a sliver of health missing might be what actually wins you that gunfight so to me it's just too 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 much that they have not thought about before actually putting the, the actual characters in, you know to test with the changes but guys if you've uh, been enjoying the channel and you want to help out in a big way how about checking out one of the social media links and uh, giving a like a follow or you know whatever they call their you know general craziness on those social media platforms and if you're interested in, you know, hanging out live on Twitch, then go over there and shoot a follow to twitch.tv slash iPonehub because somebody just tried, somebody actually tried to sell us Pwnhub the normal way on Twitch. It was ridiculous. I said, no, thanks. I'll, I'll put an I in front of it. Fine. You know, but uh, yeah, guys, I think Octane is in dire need of some work here in season six. But what, again, is your opinion and what would you do, if anything, to help fix the legend known as Octane here in Season 6 of Apex Legends? But, yeah, let's get this W right here and wrap up this game. Obviously, uh, you know, I, I like Season 6, but I think there's room for a lot of improvement still. However, here's two videos you can check out if you feel so inclined. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, guys, stay safe, healthy and have a good one.